So this is my trusty rowing staff. It's had some pretty extensive use over its two year lifespan. So I think it's time to give it a bit of a makeover, optimize it, and as I go along, I'll uh, answer some of your questions. So stay tuned. Hi folks, Tom from Van Dabby Dozy. Thanks for tuning in. So if you haven't seen the video on the staff, um, then go watch that. But a quick recap, it's made from a single rowan tree sapling that I found dead standing. So you know, it was dead and it had seasoned and dried a little bit, but it wasn't so old that it started to decompose. It's still really strong. And I made it the exact same way as the staff I made in my how to make a staff video, which is, uh, you know, the same thickness all the way along and I lashed it in both ends. But um, one end, it was starting to be worn after two years of use and the other end, there was, I had a, car, uh, a burn design there that I didn't really like anymore and I didn't really like the shape, so I've chopped that off. Uh, I am going to lash it again at the top uh, because I, I still like it having there in case this ever gets bashed or I hit something with it. It's still, I, I like to have some peace of mind that there's something there to stop that staff, the top of the staff from splitting. Uh, but at the end of the staff, you know, in my how to make a staff video, I talked about a metal spike or something at the end would be the, the best thing to have. So many people uh, sent links, left stuff in the comments about different ideas of putting a spike. And through some of the links, uh, people told me about this. It's such a simple thing, but I just never really heard of it. So I bought two of these off eBay pretty inexpensively. Uh, one of them is on my Japanese Joe staff and I left this one to put on my rowing staff. Uh, now there is, you can buy, these are very similar things from specialist walking stick websites and I'll put a link to some examples below. Uh, you can check out, you can get ones that come with like a, a rubber, um, rubber thing to put on the ends and so that's better for if you're you know, walking inside or walking on concrete or things like that. Uh, but I was just interested in the spike. And uh, you know, it's super simple, it's basically a, a steel spike. Uh, with a steel socket and two holes either side for you to, to put some uh, screws in. Just some small screws that can go in, but I also want to find screws that I can easily take off with my multi-tool because, you know, having this on is great for, uh, you know, when you're, when you're using it as a walking aid. Uh, but, you know, for my staff spins, for my Joe Katas, um, it's nice not having a metal thing just because I'm more likely going to hit myself than anyone else. Um, so I want to be able to remove it quickly basically. I did treat the whole staff with linseed oil originally but I left this part blank because I've been meaning to burn a sort of, I really wanted a sort of complex Celtic knot, you know these sort of interlocking animals. Um, so that's still the plan to put something cool and intricate here but I'm just not very good at this. This is all uh, burnt on just with a soldering iron. So I've got some questions about what sort of designs I've burnt on already. Uh, so I mentioned in my original video I've got the Mark III because this is the third sort of model of this staff I've made. I made one in New Zealand, one in Malaysia, all sort of the same size and dimensions. The main saying that I survived on my staff just at the top is this. Uh, it's a Latin saying and it's in sterquilinus inventor or inventure. Not sure exactly how to pronounce it. But I got that off uh, reading the Swiss psychoanalyst Carl Jung. I think it translates directly as in the filth that will be found. And he was using this saying in, for psychological terms, basically that the things that you most need to know will be found in the place you least want to look. And I thought that's a pretty good attitude to life. So I burned it on the top of my stick as a reminder. So stay tuned and I'll uh, show you the process and what I come up with. So I narrowed down the end of the staff so that the furrow would fit as snugly as possible. Then I had to widen the holes a bit to get the screws I wanted in. Then I just went over all the staff and tried to sand out any major dents and scratches in the wood. So I figured since I was putting in the time to give my rowing staff a bit of TLC, uh, I thought I may as well go over my uh, Japanese Joe staff. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, this is um, uh, one that I trained with for oh, years and years and years, uh, all through my teenagehood. 
Uh, I trained with this Joe Steph in Aikido and um, this was given to me by my old sensei. Uh, so it's a natural like uh, store bought Japanese Joe Steph, you know, sort of mass produced um, oak staff specifically for martial arts. So I don't really know what it's been treated with, uh, but what it looks like, it looks like some sort of varnish. Um, and varnish is great sometimes, but if moisture comes underneath it, then um, it doesn't really work. It sort of starts to flake. So right, I've been using this uh, quite a lot over the past few weeks and it's been in the rain and stuff and it's starting to, you see, it's starting to be damaged by moisture there. There's a few bits along here and there and stuff. So uh, I figured I'd give this a quick sand and then coat it with uh, oil instead of varnish. So hey, right, I'll pimp this staff as well. <laughs> For nostalgic reasons, I didn't want to change my Joe staff too much, but I did want to file a shallow groove around the top of the staff just to act as a sort of reference point um, to stop the staff slipping through my fingers when I'm walking. And it also acts as a place to attach my guy line when I'm propping up my tarp and also attach my staff sling. I noticed there's a wee crack forming here at the top of the staff and if that travels then potentially this whole sort of flake of wood could come off and that wouldn't be good. Um, so what I'm thinking I might do before I oil the staff is to try see if I can get some epoxy resin um, into that crack there or maybe even just cover this entire top section with resin and hopefully it will um, sort of impregnate into the into the wood and form like a solid cap uh, so I haven't really done that before but I think it should work So now for that Celtic design I wanted for my rowing staff. Now I'm not a good enough artist to draw anything freehand, but my guitar strap has a really nice Celtic knot design, so I basically just traced over that, then sellotaped that bit of paper onto the top of the staff and then burnt through the stencil. So you'll notice I've lashed the top of the round staff with some hemp cord and epoxied it, just the same way that I've done in a past video. I also drilled a little lanyard hole in the top of the staff, which I've not done before, but try something new. And then using some food safe raw linseed oil to cover both staffs in a few coats. And the epoxy resin on top of the Joe staff has turned out quite nice. Shiny, shiny. And once the staffs are oiled, I screwed the furals in place uh, with a rounded head screw so that it won't catch in anything. final bit of beautifying and then I did a once over with beeswax on both staffs just to give it some extra water protection and also give you some grip it sort of acts like surfboard wax giving you some grip in, in wet weather. Finally my staffs have been pimped. <laughs> both have now got the alpine furals and um, so this makes a big difference in terms of uh, walking in rough terrain and you've also got a slightly more convincing prodding end. <laughs> on one end. Uh, I've got two screws uh, on my Joe staff one but I only put one screw on the round staff just it seems to be holding up okay and it just means I can take it off faster. We'll see how well that lasts. Uh, the round staff obviously I just beautified it a wee bit with the, the grouse feather but I can obviously take that off it's getting in the way. The wee um, Celtic knot design. Uh, I messed up in some bits uh, so it looks alright from a distance, just don't look too close, but uh, generally happy with it. Um, Joe Staff, I much prefer this oil finish compared to the original varnish. It just looks way nicer, it feels much nicer. The epoxy resin finish on top is actually quite nice, quite like it, it's really shiny, but um, we'll see maybe the first time I drop on some rocks it might just scratch and crack. I'm sure. The staffs are grateful for some TLC and that um, coating of oils and, and whatnot should make them last 
few more years, many more adventures. So uh, looking forward to taking them out in the field now with their with their spikes. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, please share any of your staffs on my Instagram. And uh, hi, huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters, whatnot. And be back with another video as soon as I can. Cheers.